problems you gotta focus on what's real man So already today we're at KatsuCon 2017 and we're going to be looking around the convention center uh, looking at the artist alley dealers rooms some of the panels I think there's a Studio Ghibli panel that I want to try and look at uh, later today I might have missed it already but you know it is what it is uh, coming on time is definitely important so today what you can see behind me is that there's a bunch of people sitting around here in front of the fountain but also a bunch of people out there uh, they're doing like organized photo shoots, which is really cool. So pretty much what you get to do at Katsukon is you contact the organizer and then you can set up a massive uh, photo shoot. In which case, this looks like some anime that I've never seen before, so I can't really say. <laughs> All right, so now we're in the dealer's room, which is pretty much the place that you can go to uh, find little trinkets, little goodies, little plush toys, stuff like that. Uh, there's also uh, actual like companies that set up booths here, like Funimation, for example, like over here. So Funimation, they sell their you know DVDs, Blu-rays, uh, separate merchandise. I think they sell like pop figures and stuff like that too. So far, I'm really digging the cosplays that I've been seeing. I see a lot of League of Legends as always, but I'm also seeing tons of Overwatch, which is really nice to look at too. Uh, there was actually a giant Reinhardt somewhere that I lost track of him. So. I will hopefully find him again soon. All right, so looking around the convention floor, if you want to pan around, you can kind of see like you can buy bags, hats, cheap manga over there, kigurumis, I guess board games, cards, real good stuff. Of course, little plush toys and everything. So here they even have like a little photo shoot booth. You guys want to look at this? Take a look at that. I think that's super cool. They got like fake grass and everything. Booths featuring other conventions. More hats and wigs. Things that you might want to buy and purchase to wear. Maybe to sleep. And of course, you can also find super cool figurines, which is actually my personal favorite thing to buy at conventions. To see these figurines from different uh, TV shows. All right, so we're going to stop these two people here. Hey, hi. Can I, can I get a couple seconds of your time, if you don't mind? All right. Uh, what's your name? Casey. Michaela. All right, nice to meet you both. And uh, is this your first Katsukan, or have you been here before? We've been here before last year. That was our first time. All right, so what do you think of it this year uh, in terms of the dealer's room? Have you seen stuff that you haven't seen last year? Yeah, it's all new content relevant to like what's come out in the last year, uh, as far as anime I've seen. Um, but uh, same great content, great people, great costumes. I don't watch much anime, so I have no idea. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Neither do I, to be honest. I'm more of a gamer, actually. Uh, so are you planning on buying a lot of things today? Oh, yeah. I bought this hat already and plenty of blind boxes. <laughs> I bought a sloth. <laughs> can, can we uh, get a, get a close-up on, on the sloth? This thing's so cute, actually. Where'd you get this one? They're all over the place. All over the place. Well, okay, I, I haven't actually seen sloths. Uh, this year, tons of Overwatch, tons of sloths. Tons of Overwatch and tons of sloths. So, Katsukon 2017, sloths, Overwatch. Yep. Sounds good. Have you seen the uh, Reinhardt, actually, outside? Yes. He's great. He's gigantic. I saw him with it off also. That thing's a monster costume. Did you see it? Yeah. What, what are your thoughts on it? Looks very uncomfortable. <laughs> Did, was it impressive at all? or? I mean, I'm assuming so. It looked like it took a lot of work. Yeah, I think so too. I really wanted to do it as well, but I was too lazy. Yeah. So anyway, uh, thank you for your time. I'm going to let you guys get head on out of here. Try and get myself one of those slots, actually. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
All right, so this is the artist alley of Katsukon 2017. Yeah, so actually, I've never seen people selling t-shirts, or maybe I'm just blind. But yeah, this year, there's a lot of t-shirts. Like, look, if you take a look at that, Weep Trash. I actually really like the uh, Cry Low Ren shirt up there. I think that's pretty funny. But yeah, so if we uh, walk on down here, it's pretty much the standard thing that you see at most artist alleys. It's just a lot of very, very, very talented people uh, showcasing their art and, you know, getting paid for it because, you know, they should. If you have talent, then you should get paid for it, right? Anyway, uh, this year I see a lot of uh, similar art styles and very similar art pieces, but something different that I haven't seen before is actually right over here. Um, it's like very, uh, how would you say, how, how would you describe that? Maybe like geometric or something? I don't know, but I think that's pretty sick. So this is pretty much where you can find uh, a lot of the art pieces that, you know, if you're cool like uh, Camera John, you'll have a little tube that you can carry your art pieces in to protect them, which I think is a very smart idea because there are so many people here, there's a very good chance that you'll probably get bumped into and maybe have your artwork bent or something, which would not be ideal. But one thing for certain is that there is definitely a lot of talent here, and uh, what I'm gonna try and do is maybe stop some of them. Sorry, I'm walking backwards, I can't see anything. Right size treasure here, always a treat. Always buy their stuff here, buy stuff right here. You see that? This is why you need to buy stuff immediately because things are sold out already. And uh, maybe I'll get some, uh, some body pillows for uh, Brother Spud. I think he would enjoy those very much though. So. so that's essentially the artist alley. Uh All right, welcome to the video gaming room. Uh, this is a section of Katsukon that is near and dear to my heart. As you can see, there's just, just tons and tons of different types of gaming. Um, even over there on the wall, if you can see that over there, there's like projections of people playing. Is that Street Fighter? I can't see from here. My vision is terrible. I need new glasses. But yeah, so they got like Pachinko. Uh, they got console gaming. People bring their own PCs and everything. It's pretty good stuff. So there's loads of different types of games going on right now. Uh, help desk if you need it on right on my left. There we go. Over there, they got some projectors playing uh, Smash, Pokemon tournaments, stuff like that. Really cool stuff. Paid style games on the other side. So let's go over there. So here we got super fun our K games that you can play. Uh, Dance Freaks, which is like a rhythm tapping game. We got Time Crisis 2. Uh, classics like Galaga and Punch Out. Of course, we got our own uh, DDR going, Dance Dance Revolution. Always super fun to play. You know, I've never actually seen somebody holding those bars to play DDR. And actually, that's what they're for, hilariously. Uh, my friend is a semi-competitive DDR player, and he told me that that's what the bars are for. People will hold on to them and then just, like, step around to uh, hit, the, hit the beats. I love arcade games. Love Time Crisis. There's freaking pinball machines. It's just a very, very fun time. So when the weather's nice at Katsukon, especially for Katsukon 2017, you can expect to find a lot of the cosplayers outside, just outside of the uh, main atrium area, uh, just doing a ton of different photo shoots with a ton of different photographers, so people will just meet up. And I think this is actually one of my favorite things to see when I come to the convention, is that there's just so many different types of cosplays here, and there's so many different types of people here and they all have these great ideas of how to take photography so if you look for example uh, on my left here there's tons of people using the natural scenery of the convention center to take wonderful beautiful pictures that you know will last a lifetime and that's pr pretty much one of my favorite things to do hey Nick and Judy Come, 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 come. Hi. Uh, how are you guys enjoying the nice weather today? It's uh, it's pretty nice outside. It's great. Is this your first Katsukon? Have you been here before? I've been here, I went last year. She's been... Um, I've been here for like five years in a row now. All right, excellent. So what do you think of uh, Katsukon 2017? Oh, it's great. I think I've, I've seen a lot more like, well, the cosplay I've seen this year is, pr is pretty good. Last year I didn't see as... Many, uh, well, there were a lot of good cosplays last year too, but 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I know what you're saying. I mean, there's no fire alarm this yeah. year, oh, so... Yeah. And it's the weather is pretty nice. I mean, we're not freezing this year, so it's pretty great. Um, yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do at, when you come to Katsugan? Um, I mean, definitely go, like, cosplay watching and everything. And uh, definitely, like, picking up merch and everything. All that good stuff. Um, I like going around the dealer's room and the artist alley and just like looking at all the different works of art by the different artists. And the game room is pretty cool too. So did you guys buy a lot of stuff this year? Uh, I just bought a couple prints is all. Yeah, I bought like a few plushies and a sweater. <laughs> all right, awesome. Well, uh, I'm not going to take any more time away from you. Thank you very much for talking with me. So as you can see, there's just a lot of different types of people that you'll find here. Um, people love it here. People like to buy things. I like to buy things, but it kind of hurts a little bit inside when you know you swipe the card. You're like, oh, you're getting something, but you're also losing something. So it's give and take. Anyway, I think that's will about wrap it up for Katsukan 2017. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe too, if you want to see more content like this, uh, content at conventions. We got, oh, it's Prince. Oh, 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 oh,